Hi, I'm Mel and welcome back to another video. I was asked to join in this challenge by, hosted by Chrissy, um, to do the Dollar Tree DIY challenge. Obviously in the UK we don't have the Dollar Tree but I've gone to my local pan, pound land which is exactly the same, I think it's pound and got something. So for this DIY like craft challenge we had to pick something we'd never done before so it's Easter coming up and also Mother's Day so I've picked something that I can make that I've not made before that could be for Mother's Day or for um, Easter just depends so I'd like to thank hosted by Chrissy for um, tagging me in this or asking me to do this DIY challenge and I will show you now what I've got to make and I can't wait to show you the share this with you. So let's begin. So my pound land didn't have much crafts in it and I don't really shop in pound land so it was quite hard but we went round, looked at the craft bits and also some other things and we decided what I'd what I decided what I was going to make. So what I'm gonna make is this jar that is already made, it's glass with a plastic lid and I'm gonna decorate this um, to be able to fill it with stuff and I think this is lovely even as like a candle or to put a cactus in, obviously what I do normally but for this I thought it'd be lovely to do like a spa jar or something like that. So I got this, it was quite a tall jar from Poundland. I got these which there is three um, bows on it to put on the outside then we've got some pink and white twine which I thought was really cute and would help with other DIYs as well as on the jar and then the last thing we got or I got the last thing I got was glitter so for this you'll also need PVA, we already had PVA but you could have brought that in the shop so I didn't buy, buy that but I will be using that. And the jar, I don't know if you, yeah, you can tell, is like rigid so I can fill in the gaps a bit and I can't wait to do this so we are going to do this now. So I don't think you can see but I've got a white bit of paper down here below the jar for the glitter because I don't want that getting everywhere. Um, and I'm just going to go and get a cocktail stick to glue up the sides. So we don't have cocktail sticks, or my mum doesn't here at her house, so I'm just going to use a straw. We'll do the same thing um, as would have a toothpick, so that's fine. And I'm going to go around this now. So I've just got a bit of kitchen roll here to put the PVA on, um, just so it doesn't get everywhere. make a mess so that is the PVA I didn't need a lot but because it's the kids I didn't want to use all of their PVA up so I'm literally going to take the straw and go up in between the ridges just a little bit up to do the glitter miss one because I'm going to put twine in it I think and then go again Trying to go straight as possible, which went a bit wrong there, but I'm just going to wipe that off so the glitter doesn't stick. And I'm going to do a few lines at a time um, just because. And you see I'm not going the full way up because I don't want to, but I think on the twine I'll have to. But 
but it may be that the twine doesn't look right so I'll take it off but I love the colours of it So now I've done like four lines, I'm just going to move the PVA off the white paper, decide what glitter I'm going to use, which I'm going to use this pink colour. And then obviously with the paper I can easily pour it back in the pot, which is perfect. If I can get the lid off. So I'm just going to lift the jar up still on the paper and just sprinkle it on. And then tap the jar down and you can see the sparkle on it, which is really cute. Um, so I'm going to continue going the whole way round. Um, obviously, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's in between it, there's glitter as well, but we can brush that off at the end before we put the twine on. So I'm going to carry on doing this now, repeat round, and then I'll show you at the end. I don't know if you can see this, but I really like where it's like dripped down and it just looks like it's dripped down everywhere. This one's going now and whatnot. And also because I'm going to put a rim of the um, the twine on, then I think that would be perfect anyway to glue that on. I'm going to put one at the, one at the top too with the bow hanging off. Um, so I've just got my paintbrush here and I'm going to paint down and get all the glitter off where it shouldn't be. see it's much clearer now and I've got off as much glitter as I think I can obviously when it's completely dry I can do it again and get some more um, but this I really like so far and obviously I've never done it before so it looks really cool um, so I'm just gonna put this back down here though there is a lot of glitter still there and I think I'm just gonna end up glittering the bottom of the jar after because of the drips down but that's fine because it will look cool anyway so now I'm going to get my twine and some scissors and I'm going to measure around the edge and cut this to size and again at the top. If I can find the end would help, it's here. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just wheeling this. Oh, don't drop it like I just did. And I think the top, I'm gonna have quite a few layers so you can see it clearer. See that as well. But that definitely, you can definitely see that now. So I'm just going to cut that off there so I know that's the right fact. I'm going to go round a bit so here. Cut that off and then I'm going to use the PVA glue again to glue around the top. And then I'm going to stick this twine back on. So I've got my glue again, which is really soaked in now. You may be better getting a new, um, in fact, I'm going to take the lid off. The lid is plastic and I'm just going to paint around it, glue around here. So I've glued around the top now. Luckily this glue tries clear, so, or should do. So sh if you get it anywhere, you think gonna hopefully show. So now I'm just gonna glue this in place. I think that's really cool and it's just effective and I'm going to do the same on the bottom but I think I'll do the bottom one last after I've painted the bottom bit with glitter which is very hard I love this because it obviously matches the pink on the jar so I could either leave this plain or not and then I'm just going to put a big bow off of here out of these which I'm going to unwire now so this will just stick nicely in fact this one's a bit rubbish it's fallen out but if you just flatten it out and make it into the bow, it will stick nicely. Hang down. Actually, I'm going to stick this to the, the lid, definitely. So it covers that and hangs down. But I'm not going to use this one because it's broken. I'm going to get another one off and hopefully that's not broken. So this one isn't and it just hangs cutely. Um, like so. So I'm just going to glue this onto the the lid here with some PVA again. I just need to get some more PVA out. So I'm literally just going to glue here. Like that. And then I'm just going to stick on my bow. It's quite heavy, so it might take some time to stick. So just hold it in place. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm just going to leave this up. Oh god, upside down. 
the lid upside down as such, if you can see here in the corner, um, with this on. But it's just gonna hurt, fall off, so I'm gonna go get a peg to keep that in place. So, you see I've pegged it in, so it will stick with the glue, and I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, leave it here in the corner just to dry and I'll stick it on later. So what I'm gonna do now is just a little rim of, no I'm not, this is dry now, so I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna do this bottom bit in glitter. So I'm just gonna get another clean bit of paper and glitter the bottom. I'm gonna turn the jar upside down, but here we go. Put the whole pot on and then I'm just gonna spread it round. upside down but it is all completely dry and so is the top at uh, the bottom even sorry and um, which is very sparkly so I'm going to just put it up the right way now this should be stuck so I should take the pegs off like so and you, this will just be able to screw on in place which I think looks really cute so this is my DIY uh, of like toiletry jar, or like for a gift anyway. So it's a DIY uh, mason jar basically. Um, so I've put this lovely taffeta bow on it, which I think is gorgeous with the lace, and then the pink uh, glitter and the twine on it. And the twine obviously is around the top too. And then in here, I've just to show you for now, put in the nail varnish, which I think is lovely. Um, which I could use this for putting all my shellac in um, but it's so lovely and that's it and that's it for today's video I would like to thank hosted by Chrissy for asking me to join in and for allowing me to participate in her challenge uh, obviously it's slightly different because we haven't got the Dollar Tree in the UK but we have got Pound Land, Pound World so that is where I went to, it was Pound Land so this is all of the stuff I could find and it is a craft that I've never made before and I think it's so cute and it would work for presents and everything so I think this would be part of even a birthday present for my friend coming up but also I really like this for my nail varnish so it's probably going to be on my on my chest of drawers and I'll make another one for someone else so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up please comment down below if you've ever made a craft from the Dollar Tree or Poundland if you are not part of this challenge or if you are please let me know too and I'll watch your I'd like to see your video please also subscribe and push the notification bell to see when I post thanks for watching bye